Let me ask you this. Have you ever dreamed of creating your own great game or application for the iPhone or iPad with no programming skills in just four weeks and hit pay dirt with it in the App Store? Hi, my name is Mike, and in this short presentation, I'm going to share my most closely guarded secrets with you. Be sure that this presentation won't be around for a long time, so watch closely while you can. But first, let me put the money where my mouth is. Let me log in to my Apple developer account in real time and show the latest sales. Okay, here we are. Let's go to iTunes Connect and log in to my account. Now, let me show you my stats real quick. Here we are. Take a look on the weekly trend of free apps downloads. Thousands of downloads every week. And it keeps growing. Looks great, doesn't it? But how about paid apps? Let's check the latest report. Last payment, 63000 Not bad, huh? And here are the earnings by countries. Impressive numbers. Looks impressive? I bet it does. But wait, that's not all. Besides selling the apps and games, you also make huge money on the advertising networks, such as AdMob and iAd Network. Let's check out the latest revenue reports. 13,117 US dollars during the last seven days. Not too shabby, and that is from ads in free apps. Crazy, isn't it? But now, let me tell you the ugly truth. It looks like I'm raking in money now, but the truth is that it was not always like that. Just six months ago, I was completely struggling. I had no programming skills, no team, and no money. The only thing I had was a great desire to create the game of my dreams. Since childhood, I have always had a dream to make it big. I was thinking my game over and over and over again during those sleepless nights, imagining the characters and heroes, levels, gameplay tricks, etc. Does that sound familiar to you? To be honest, I'm a big fan of the iPhone, so I did not even consider the idea of creating games for anything else but the iPhone or iPad. But I was missing the main thing. I had no team and no programming skills at all. Even worse, I did not even have a technical education. Over and over again, I have been reading the blogs and reports about the gold rush in the App Store, where small guys like you and me achieved immense success by creating simple but great applications or games. Did you know that guys from the top applications part of the App Store are selling over 35,000 copies a day? 35,000! If you sell your app for 99 cents and get 70 cents from it after Apple commission cuts, you are left with a pure profit of $24,500 per day. Well, you can't live with that, but it's a good start, isn't it? This thought would not let me sleep well. Of course, I did not live in the illusion that I would get on top with my first app, but you know me already. I'm the kind of guy who always wants to reach the stars. So my target was to get into the top 100 apps at least. Here is what I did. I decided to take it really seriously. First, I bought all the books available in my local Barnes & Noble store and on Amazon as well. Everything from iPhone development for dummies to the advanced expert stuff. Oh boy. That was a real headache to read all that stuff. It took me about three months alone to read all those books. And you know what? After I tried to implement the knowledge, I was totally disappointed. Most of the printed books turned out to be completely outdated. You know it is a long process after you write a book. It goes to the publisher, stays in editing for weeks, then the printing office keeps delaying it again and again. Then you need to distribute it throughout the country to local shops, etc and the things change so fast. Once the iPod was released, next year iPhone, then iPhone 3GS, then iPad, then iPhone 4. The list goes on and on. Things change so fast, and these printed books can't even catch up. Most samples were outdated and never worked for me. What a bummer. So finally, after reading all this crap, my head was ready to explode, and I decided to take action. My first game was supposed to be the simple hidden object game. You know, where you tap the screen to find the hidden objects. I found out that these kinds of games are very popular among people, and I figured out it is pretty easy to make it. 
You simply need several images properly cut into layers and a little bit of coding. Getting a developer account with Apple was pretty easy, so I went ahead and opened it and started the development. Since I had no one to help and guide me, I guess I spent three times longer than average creating it than I actually needed to. In about two months of sleepless nights, my game was finally ready. The approval process from Apple took about a week. This week of waiting was the most frustrating time for me. It felt like time itself stopped. I got so nervous my hands even shook. What if they disapproved of it? I have read tons of horror stories about developers failing because Apple did not accept their game or delayed approval for months. I could not even sleep. I was checking my email and dev account every minute to see the desired your app was approved message from Apple. I was so noxious, I even sent three follow-up emails asking Apple why it takes so long. Don't do that, guys. I heard you only make the reviewers angry if you display impatience. Finally, I got approved and the sales started. I went to bed dreaming about loads of cash rushing into my pockets. And can you imagine what happened? I failed miserably. The next day, when I checked my sales, I saw the devastating numbers. 16 copies sold. Total net profit, $9. Well, obviously not the kind of numbers I was expecting. The next day, 11 copies, then 8 copies, then about 2-3 to three copies per day during the next week. After 2 weeks, my total net profit was around 50 bucks. Sounds like now I have enough money to invite my girlfriend to McDonald's, right? What an epic failure. And here is why. Creating a great app or game is only part of the story. The most important part is how to sell it successfully and get on top of App Store sales. That's what most developers are missing, failing one after another in their efforts to live their dream. They put all their efforts into the development and miss the most important part, successful marketing. Even the best app can remain totally unknown if you fail to market it properly. Once I realized this, I decided not to give up. So I spent the next six months making the comprehensive market research. I contacted 135 top Apple apps and games developers asking for help and advice. As you may expect, 90% of them simply ignored me. But you know, I am not the kind of guy who gives up easily. Those 10% who replied gave me knowledge you'd never find in books or on the internet. I could personally meet some of them and receive the most valuable insider information on how this market works. Oh, 